Now, there are seven signs or indicators or clues that you may have a vitamin K1 deficiency. Now, I haven't talked a lot about K1, but it's a very, very important vitamin because it helps you from bleeding to death. It's kind of important. Now, in a recent study, they found that around 31% of adults may have a vitamin K1 deficiency. Now, what does vitamin K1 do? Well, it has everything to do with clotting. And vitamin K1 comes from foods, uh, primarily dark green vegetables, but your microbes also make K1. Now, vitamin K2 helps you form your bones. They also keep the calcium out of the arteries as well as out of the joints. So let's go through the seven signs that you might be vitamin K1 deficient. Bruising that takes way too long to heal. Let's say you bump yourself and you get a bruise and it's just not going away. All right, number two, wounds that just do not clot or heal. Let's say you actually cut yourself, whether it's a paper cut and it just stays cut and it just does not heal. All right, nosebleeds. You haven't been punched, nothing could have caused that and you have a bleeding nose. It could be a vitamin K1 deficiency. All right, number four, you have heavier menstrual bleeding than you should have. All right, number five, you have blood in the urine or the stool. That could be a vitamin K1 deficiency. Number six, you have small little blood clots underneath the nails. And number seven, you have spider veins. Now, I've done videos on spider veins, which is normally a vitamin C deficiency, but as part of the vitamin C complex, you also have vitamin K1. So vitamin K1 works very closely with vitamin C. Now let's say for example you're consuming more greens and this problem is not going away. That could come from a GI malabsorption problem. You have some type of gut issue in which case you just need to increase the amounts maybe even from a, a supplement or just consume more greens. Now it also could be that you don't have a gallbladder or you have insufficient bile or liver damage because you need the bile to help you break down and absorb this fat soluble vitamin. And if this is the situation, what you do is you just take some purified bile salts when you're consuming dark leafy greens, as well as add some more olive oil to your salad, which will help you with the absorption. Now, if you had antibiotics or some type of issue, whether it's diarrhea or something that destroyed your friendly bacteria, that could be the reason why you're deficient because the microbes make vitamin K1. All right, there you have it, the seven signs of a vitamin K1 deficiency.